Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're recreating Barbie characters slash Barbie's outfits. Sorry I haven't posted in like four days. I've been busy and I'll explain a little more about that in the end of this video. The first one I'm gonna be doing is Holiday Barbie 1960. I do own this Barbie. I'm gonna show a photo on screen, but I did inherit this from my grandma who sadly passed away recently and that's why I've been so busy. It's been really sad. The outfit probably looks kind of different. It's because I actually have the doll and the photo that's on the screen doesn't show like the skirt and everything. I'm just gonna move the hair in a bun so I can see all, all the corsets and stuff. This doll's supposed to be like a New Year's doll, but it reminds me more of Christmas than New Year's. You know what I should have added? I should have added the December Dream like po poofy thingy that they hold. It would have gone perfectly with it. I was really struggling of what skirt to use. I was thinking of Magical Enchantress, but I ended up using Dying Latina. I have always loved Barbies. Like, since I was little, my first ever Barbie was this Anna Barbie from Frozen. You know what I realized? I just like dressing up like characters. I like dressing up Barbies. I love dressing up in Royal High. I just like clothes. I was looking for her hair, and then I remembered I needed shoes. So this is my Royal High outfit versus the doll. Tell me in the comments if you think I did a good job. Next up is this vintage swimmer Barbie. I got this doll at a mall. I think it was V-Stop, but it was cool. And I got her for really cheap, like $11. Here's a picture of my doll. I don't know how I feel about the shoes. Like I wanted to use the cookie cutter loafers because it looks like a swimsuit, like how the picture is. But the cookie cutter loafers look weird with like the flippers, I don't know. Tell me in the comments what you think. In the packaging, her hair looks like pigtails, so I went for pigtails. I don't think her hair is actually a pigtails. I think it's more of like a ponytail. The makeup, like the custom face, was really easy because she wore like no makeup. Okay, this is the final product. I changed the shoes to see what it would look like. It looks interesting. It looks less like a swimsuit though. The next one I did was the first ever Barbie ever because like she's iconic. I was really struggling trying to find a good hair because it's like short and it's like a ponytail and it's like a low ponytail and there's not really any short low ponytail hairs in Royal High. But I did find one. So in the image her eyes are, look like she's like staring at someone so I was trying to find a good pair of eyes that look like she's staring at someone. I did end up using the eyes that I was already wearing. She's all fancy, she has some nice earrings, her swimsuit's very like le like very fancy and luxurious, so very, very cute. I thought it was going to be harder to find a pattern that matched, but it was pretty easy. Okay, this is the final product. I feel like this one is one of my favorites. I added the summer fantasy bag to look like little sunglasses she's holding. So this next one is Barbie Life of the Dream House Barbie. I based this outfit off of the doll. And if you've seen the series, don't be worried. I am going to do Raquel next. I added the dramatic eyelashes because like the doll actually has like 3D eyelashes. I used the glitter pattern because her outfit looked like it was really sparkly. I normally don't use the glitter patterns because they're like not my favorite. I feel like the opposite track corset was perfect for this outfit. And this is the final product. I feel like this one turned out okay. I wish it had more accessories. Okay, next from Barbie Life in the Dream House, I am doing Raquel. You know, in the Barbie Life in the Dream House series, I feel like they added Raquel just for her to be like the, the comedy of the series, which I feel like it worked. For this one, I was struggling on with like the jacket. I ended up using Gothic Cutie, but it took a while to decide on what jacket to use. At first, I was trying to use a pattern, but then I just went with plain brown. But I feel like her outfit turned out okay. It's not one of my favorites. It's probably my least favorite. If you're wondering why the background's gray, I changed it so her hair didn't blend in. This one's probably my least favorite because of the jacket. It just doesn't really look like hers, but I feel like it looks like Raquel. So this is going to be the last one. I am doing Ken from Barbie Life in the Dream House. Still, I'm basing off the doll. He was not my favorite in the Barbie Life in the Dream House series. In the other like Barbie series, he was a bit better, but he wasn't my favorite in the Barbie Life in the Dream House series. 
I couldn't find an exact pattern, but it had palm trees, but like they live in Malibu, so it's fine. So this is the final outfit. I feel like it looks pretty good. The only thing I don't like is the jacket is way too long, but we don't really have a short jacket. Okay, those are all the outfits I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you were wondering why I haven't posted in like four days, like a full length video, it's because my grandma passed away, which was really sad. And not too long ago, my great grandpa passed away, which was so sad. So I was kind of out of town and I didn't have time to make a full length video. So if you haven't talked to someone in a while, just tell them that you love them. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.